This means the Lost Village isn't a legend. If there really are other Smurfs out there, we need to find them. We're in this together. And by together, I mean me and you. And those guys, but mostly me and you. What? Don't be weird. Hefty! Brainy! Clumsy! Well, that's not even convincing. Enter a secret world. Oh, I'm so excited. Everyone's favorite blue-skinned adventurers are headed back to the big screen in Smurfs, The Lost Village. Everyone, please give a warm welcome to director Kelly Asbury. Hi. Hello. Oh, my gosh. This brings back so many childhood memories for me. I can't tell you how excited I am for it. Oh, great. That's you, what it's all about. That's what it's about, yeah. right? So this is actually the Smurfs' first fully CG animated adventure. Yes. it's uh, The last films that were done were what we call hybrids. They were live action with animation. Yes. This is all animated. It's a complete reboot of the stories. And we, uh, we started from the beginning and just kind of pretended that there's never been anything made of Smurfs before. That's right. And that's how we approached it. So that approach, what kind of challenges um, did did you face? Well, you know, we went back to the, the comic books that date back to the 50s, long before the, the Hanna-Barbera television show in the 80s. Right. And uh, those comic books had such a rich world created by Peo Culliford, the or originator of the Smurfs, that we were like, let's try and capture that. Let's see if we can make that world come to life. Amazing. And we did it in 3D, of course. So the challenge of conveying a 2D drawing to three dimensions was very challenging but fun. And this is a labor of love for you. We were Absolutely. Chatting earlier, yeah. it said it took you three years. Three and a half years I was on this movie. Yeah, and my team and I that worked on this, you know, all of us played our part and did our thing, and uh, a director is only as good as the people he's working with, and, and they did a great job. So. You you had an, a very interesting story we were chatting during the break about you, the original TV series and how you... I tried to get a job. <laughs> in 1982, I just started in the business, and I tried to get a job on the Smurfs, and I didn't get the job, so uh, they didn't hire me for whatever reason. Well, because you're supposed to be directing this <laughs> film, that's yeah, why, so right, poo-poo exactly. on you, So right? now I'm in charge. <laughs> there you go, you're large and in charge. Uh, yes, yes. Um, tell us a little bit about this stellar cast that you've pulled together. Well, we've got Mandy Patinkin from Homeland and Princess Bride, of course, as Papa Smurf. Yes. We've got I'm Julia sorry. Roberts as a new character named Smurf Willow, who I won't tell you too much about, except that she's great in the role and the character's great. Uh, we've We've got Demi Lovato as Smurfette. Joe Manganiello from Magic Mike is Hefty Smurf. Amazing. Um, Jack McBrayer is Clumsy Smurf. And Danny Pudi from Community is uh, Brainy Smurf. Well, and also you, sir, fine oh, director. I have a small role, <laughs> yes, as Nosy Smurf. Nosy Smurf? Yes. And what does yeah. Nosy sound like exactly? Well, Nosy, you know, he just, the only line he has is he just kind of looks around and just goes, hmm, what's going on over there? And <laughs> then people just say, go on, Nosy. And he just goes, well, all right. And he leaves. And who inspired and, that voice? Well, I had a neighbor years ago <laughs> um, who would show up at my door with my mail and then would look past me at the door and say, hi, what's going on in there? Oh. So, <laughs> a nosy neighbor. A nosy neighbor. Interesting. Yeah, yeah. Um, now, I love that the Smurfs themselves, they may, they may look a little bit different this time around, mm -hmm. but the universal appeal Absolutely. is still there. Oh, yeah. I mean, I think everyone's a Smurf in their own way. Yeah. I mean, everyone's got, one day you're grouchy Smurf, and the next day you may be jokey Smurf, or somewhere in between. And I think every girl knows what it's like to be Smurfette at some time or another in their life. Yeah, so. I kind of thought, I thought maybe I could relate to Smurfette yeah, once in a while. When I was a little Smurfette thing. Oh, do I? Yeah, that's a compliment. Oh, thank you. Thank you so much. <laughs> um, now, you directed Shrek 2 also and Nomeo and Juliet. Yeah. How do you go about creating these fantastical worlds? Well, you know, in in all these cases you have a team of people working and everyone there's artists and there's storyboard artists and writers and we're all working together in a very big collaboration so it's really a group of people it takes a smurf village uh -huh. Uh -huh. Uh, good one yeah, good yeah. one kelly um <laughs> we're so so excited for you i know it's you. opening tonight yeah at the 20th anniversary of the tiff kids international film festival that's right what does that mean to you oh i they they told me hey we you know we're going to open this festival in toronto you've got to go and I was amazed and humbled and you know it's opening day so a little jittery but this, this keeps my mind off of it I can't believe a director with your you know <laughs> caliber you get nervous oh I get nervous because you know we have all these talented people that work for so long and you want people to go see it yeah. you, you want to share it with the world that's why we make them right you know? make sure you go see it. you can catch it tonight at 7 p.m. at the TIFF light box uh, for more information just make sure you check out breakfasttelevision.ca thank you so much for being here happy to be here oh thank God, you